What's up, YouTube? I'm G Infinite. Today, I'm back with part two to G Infinite's Infinite Collection. What's up, guys? So today, I wanted to talk about why I became uh, this huge collector. Um, of course, I did a part one, so whenever you guys get a chance, you might want to check that out. But I always loved artwork, so every time I would read a comic, man, I was really into the artwork. Um, and comic books really is what got me into the whole collecting, especially um, collecting cards. That was a big deal because at the time uh, growing up, of course, you would collect cards and trade cards with, with other kids. And then you would actually try to try to outmaneuver some of them by trading two or three cards to get like a hologram. Yes, holograms were really cool. That was really big. Uh, back then, of course, now they have like the Hollow Blast and Power Blast and all these other cards. But that was one of the reasons why I got into collecting. And here you see um, the reason why I started collecting figures was because I started collecting Toy Biz figures. So there you see my Deadpool and Ghost Rider. And um, of course, let's not forget my boy Cable over there. I really loved the images, man. And I was always a big fan of Wolverine and Deadpool. So that's why you see that artwork there uh, of Wolverine going up against Deadpool. I just think that they're two power players in the Marvel Universe. And uh, Wolverine was a savage. Um, I grew up watching uh, the X-Men cartoons and I was a big fan of the X-Men. So you're going to see a lot of these X-Men posters here like uh, the Sentinel and Kitty Pride. And then, of course, Gambit. And yeah, man, I was in the 1990s, the whole Jim Lee era of the cartoons and so forth. Uh, I was a big fan of that. So I want to get into a couple of the card sets um, and the reasons why I started collecting some of these card sets. This right here was like the first edition card set of like all the comics. Um, and these were like some of the first edition comics. So um, you see a lot of cool cards here. I wanted just to flip through some of this. I don't want to take too long on some of these card sets because obviously I have so many card sets and there's some that I really want to talk about um, in a little bit more detail. But these are like the first issues. And of course, shout out to the classics because this is actually uh, what, what kept it going. Uh, Marvel has always had... Uh, just these really cool reads. I know Moon Knight was a big deal. I mean, at least for me, I, I liked Moon Knight. Um, and of course, all these other comics such as The Punisher. Uh, a lot of different reads and a lot of different uh, mixed opinions on what comic books you guys were going to probably become fans of. But uh, of course, X-Men was definitely by far what did it for me. If you're looking here at my Wolverine card collection there you're probably wondering man this is a wolverine card set actually and um this if i'm not mistaken uh i believe this was a 1992 card set and if, i'm not sure if it was series one i think it was series two actually uh this card set and um it's just cool because it shows a lot of different pictures of wolverine going up against different opponents. And I, I'll show you what I mean in a couple of minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip through some of these pages so you guys can get a better look. And uh, really like the whole images of the different kinds of Wolverine and different uniforms that Wolverine wears. But this is a, a really cool uh, image right here. If you're looking at this, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, so I'm gonna zoom in. This right here is a nice, uh, or a very cool poster, in my opinion. If, if you can make it into a poster, this would look really cool. This is uh, the Hulk and Wolverine battle, which was an epic battle. And there you see Windigo, but you notice that the cards actually can form into like a bigger picture. And that, that was always really different. Um, and also, there were other card sets that did the same, but just wanted to go through this one real quick. So this is the Wolverine card collection but then you have uh let me see if i can find it for you uh this card collection right here and this is my flare card collection and this was a big deal man i remember collecting flare cards and this if i'm not mistaken is 150 cards uh this was the 1994 marvel flare card set that you're looking at there and there was just so many different cards in this card set um, it starts off with Thing, but there you see Spider-Man and you have an image of Thor 
and uh, just love the whole battle with the Hulk. Any battle with the Hulk is just an epic battle. And there you see the Hulk versus the Thing. So these are a couple of the epic battles that you notice. And then, of course, you have Professor X. You have their Captain America. That's a really cool shot of Captain America there. And just a lot of interesting characters, man. Uh, some of these card sets were just so cool. This card set right here, this 1994 Flair card set, uh, is one of my favorites, actually. Um, I do talk about some card sets that I liked, but then this one, I would say probably top 10 uh, as far as card sets. Just because the pictures, man, in them. Um, and then, of course, I have the Marvel Masterpiece card sets. And I wanna get into that real quick and show you what that looks like. Let me go ahead and just flip through some of these pages, but look at this cool image, man, of Venom real quick. And then of course, Jubilee. And you have there like uh, Archangel and Sinister. So there's a lot of cool images. Of course, I just had to stop because this is such a cool picture of the Hulk there. And then, of course, that's a nice shot of Archangel, Wolverine, and Cyclops. Just wanted to show you guys that. I'll go ahead and flip through some of these real quick. And there you see the uh, futuristic. I think this is uh, Daredevil 2099 when those were coming out. That was a really cool thing. And then more of those cards and um i'm gonna go ahead and get into the next card set because this is the marvel masterpiece card set and this card set was so cool man i remember uh buying the marvel masterpiece comics uh and in front of the comic cover was this iron man and then there was also this wolverine and it was just pretty epic um, this was another card set that I enjoyed and um, like I said, I, I have them all. These are these are the sets um, of these cards. So I don't want to like take too much time because I want to get into every card set. And of course, I want to have a little bit of time for some card sets. But this right here is the Marvel Masterpiece card set. So I don't mind flipping through some of these pages because definitely this is another card set that I would definitely say is probably top 10 as well. And that's a nice shot of Iron Fist there. So just a lot of cool card sets. And um, let me go ahead and show you guys my next card set. Uh, but before I get into that, that's a real cool shot of Deadpool. And the uh, Absorbing Man, that was pretty epic there. That looks really cool, him breaking through that wall. Like this Deathlock, of course. I would read Deathlock comics, so Deathlock was really cool to me. And there you see like the checklist. Every, uh, most card sets had that checklist um, and you guys could check off all the cards that you had or the special edition cards that you would get. So the next card set I want to get into, um, this is the 1992 X-Men card set. This is by Impel. And uh, I remember this is like the Jim Lee era. So getting into this card set is amazing for me. And uh, of course, there you see how it starts. The cards are a little bit tilted. So I'll try to fix that up for you guys real quick. And there you can see a better shot of these cards. And then they go directly into some of these cool characters that we're looking at there. Um, and I really, really like these characters. There you see uh, Professor X, Domino, Storm. And like I said, you're going to see a lot of X-Men sets um, because I was a big fan of the X-Men. So... This is another card set that I really liked. But the reason why I like this card set is because at the end of these card sets, it would be like this big, huge picture that you could almost make into like this amazing wall poster if you wanted to. And I'll show you what I mean in a couple of minutes. But um, there you see multiple man, 
Definitely a big fan. I actually picked up a couple of multiple men just to make the army of multiple men look huge, especially now that we know uh, your boy Strong Guy is coming out. And that's going to be a really epic build the figure. So just wanted to show you guys that. I'm going to flip through some of these. Try to flip through some of these quickly so that way you guys can get a glimpse. And like I said, this is the whole card set. I would always try to finish every card set. And as I as I got older, I was like missing some cards. So I would try to find them and, and get those cards just to complete the sets. But I wanted to show you real quick what I meant about the scenarios. Look at this. This is a really cool shot of the Danger Room. And there you see all the characters in the Danger Room. And they're just going crazy there. Um, Cyclops, you have Cable, you have Colossus, you have Gambit, Wolverine, you have Shatterstar, you have Nightcrawler, you have Archangel, and you have Storm. I mean, this is a this is an epic battle scene, and and this would make a really cool wall poster if you ask me. Um, but definitely something that I might want to do in the near future. But just wanted to show you why these card sets are so cool because they do make a really neat image and if you wanted to do a display um that would be a hell of a display too you know putting them up against some sentinels and parts hanging out and some wiring of course you could get some copper wiring make it look like the sentinel got destroyed but it's just um you know another neat look at these card sets so I'm gonna go ahead and get into a couple more card sets but let me go ahead and show you what the back of these card sets look like there you see kind of like the power levels of the different characters and it's small diagram there and you see like what are their weaknesses all right guys so the next card set that i want to get into is the 1995 flare marvel annual and uh this card set is really neat because it has about 150 cards and it's just like the straight portrait pictures man of like all these marvel characters here you see gambit which is neat and then you have storm that's a nice picture there and of course nightcrawler i like what they did with cyclops there it looks like he's blasting that looks really cool and then beast of course and it, it's just a real neat set. There's so many other characters that you're looking at. A lot of people wonder, like, what happened to some of these characters? And are they ever going to be brought back? Well, some of them might be. But, of course, uh, the MCU is definitely bringing back a lot of their main hitters. Um, but who knows? We, we won't know. Maybe, hopefully, in the near future, they'll be bringing back a lot of other characters that... Um, we'll see in the MCU. So this is the 1995 Flare Annual card set. And I think there's about 150 cards here, um, if I'm not mistaken. So I just want to show you real quick what that looks like. I like what they did with the Spider-Man here. If you guys are noticing, um, there you see like, Really cool pictures of Spider-Man. And then over here. I like that Hobgoblin. That looks really neat. Go ahead and flip that over. And there you see the Scarlet Spider. That's a nice pick. And here you see a lot more. Of these Marvel characters and that's Galactus there that is a nice picture of Galactus then you have the human torch there I mean there have been card sets that a lot of people um, have gotten really into and that's probably what got them into like Marvel like for instance the uh, Joe Jusco 1992 set I believe it was um, that's a really cool Marvel masterpiece card set and for me the card set that got me into this is the uh, Marvel series uh, one card set and I'll show you that in a minute it's actually right next to me but I'll be getting into that card set in a couple of minutes um, and yeah these are some of the 
cool 1995 flare card sets and um, i want to go ahead and just go to the back of this so i can show you a little bit more detail uh like that carnage right there and then that hulk um this if i'm not mistaken these were i think these are the hollow blast yeah these are the hollow blast cards that you see here there's about 12 of them and then it goes into that power blast cards that you see there those are the ones facing on the side these are the power blast let me give you a better look at that and these are more of those power blast cards flip through that so this is the power blast card set here from the 1995 flare box set and this is from the flare annual just really neat let me go ahead and show you that last page there sorry guys let me go flip that around and then of course want to get into another card set and this card set really important to me um this is probably by far one of my favorite card sets because it is the first card set i ever collected and this one is from the 1990 marvel universe series one so just looking at it you guys can tell it is the probably one of my oldest card sets um because it is my first card set and uh i really like this card set there you see like the old school pictures you have nick fury there you have uh daredevil the thing captain america there you see the black suited spider-man the hulk just a lot of cool characters in this card set want to go ahead and show you in the back it kind of shows a little bit of information about each character and their stats and their powers so a lot of these cards they they tend to do that and then here you see a little bit more this is my first card set and this is what really uh brought me into marvel uh in general and wanting to read comics because i was interested in all these different characters There you see Punisher in the van, the infamous Punisher van. There you have the leader and the sinister. I'm going to take my time with this card set. Sometimes you got to take those trips down memory lane. And this is really what brought me into uh, being a Marvel collector and just being able to collect different figures and, and put them into different displays. And uh, like I said, if you guys didn't see part one of G Infinite, um, Infinite Collection, make sure you watch that. See a little bit more in detail. And flip that around. And then, of course, a lot of cool battles here. If you're looking at this, a lot of neat battles. Sorry about the lighting there. And then here you have some cool comic book pages and a couple other battles there. And there you see a couple more of these uh, first issue appearances and so forth. Um, just really, really cool. So this is the 1990 Marvel Universe Series 1. And uh, this is really the collection that really got me into um, wanting to be a collector, especially with the cards and then the comics and, and so forth. So just wanted to show you what that looks like. And then I'm going to be getting into couple more sets of cards that I wanted to show you guys before uh, I end this video but yeah 
this is the the main one that definitely brought me to the dance so and then here you can see a little bit more of those cards and kind of like the little comic book skits that you have there also stand the man lee that was a really cool card um and then of course the checklist you know so i just wanted to show you what that looks like and um yeah it's just really neat man to have these cards and this is from the 1990 marvel universe series one all right guys so now i want to get into my 1994 amazing spider-man collection and this is from flare so this is the 1994 flare card set and uh definitely about 150 cards in this card set so wanted to show you that you have a nice cool page of different types of spider-man there you see spider-man is different action phase there of course spider-man chained up and then spider-man jumping there into action and it just makes a really cool page because it brings like a big portrait together all these cards and uh it's just something neat to look at and then of course here another page of venom and there you can see like Venom coming together. Of course, Spider-Man's got to be in there. And then switching it up. So these cards, all they do is kind of depict the bigger picture. And it just looks really cool. Have a lot of neat characters here. There you have Kingpin, of course. Green Goblin. Shocker. Just a lot of characters. Rhino. That's really neat. So when you're making all these like scenarios and so forth, this is kind of like the stuff that I go back to when I want to just do a different display or I want to like pose my figures differently, maybe do a really cool Spider-Man battle scene. I would actually go back and kind of try to arrange my figures a certain way to look like some of these images and so forth. So now I want to get into my next card set. I just wanted to show you what the back looks like there. There you see kind of like the Daily Bugle. And of course, Jonah Jameson always attacking Spider-Man. Let me go ahead and show you a little bit more of the images of how that looks like in the back. This is the Amazing Spider-Man 1994 Flare box set. And there are 150 cards in this set. All right, guys. So for the next card set that I want to get into is my 1992 Impel Marvel Universe Series 3 uh, card set. And this card set has about 200 cards, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I want to go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. Here you see Spider-Man starts off this set. And then you see Cannonball, Gambit. There you have Quasar, Sleepwalker. Still haven't dropped a Sleepwalker uh, figure for Marvel Legends. So waiting for that. And then of course here you have Weapon Omega, Quicksilver, Doctor Strange. Go ahead and flip that page. I really like this Sunfire. They should have dropped a, a variant of this Sunfire. It looks really cool. And then of course you have She-Hulk, Captain Britain, Cage, Silver Surfer. I'll go flip that. And then you have Domino, Daredevil, Morbius, Nightcrawler, Black Panther, Ant-Man, Ghost Rider, 
Dark Hawk, and Iceman. So these are really a nice card set to look at. As you can tell, there are a lot of the old school. For instance, Adam Warlock. There you see Shadow Cat, Invisible Woman, Wonder Man, Moon Knight. Mr. Fantastic Storm, Punisher. It's just really cool. And then Wolvesbane. Um, and then, of course, it would not be a card set without Wolverine, Captain America, Professor X. There you have Shatterstar. Uh, and just a bunch of other characters there. Deathlock, Multiple Man. Just a bunch of cool characters. Go ahead and go through this real quick for you guys. So you can take a better look at this card set. There you have Rogue, Jean Grey, Cyclops, Havoc. And here you see like the dynamic duels with Spider-Man and Human Torch. Then Spider-Man and Ghost Rider. Really cool card set. Of course, Vision and Scarlet Witch. Just so many different Marvel characters and we're still waiting on a lot of these Marvel Legends uh, characters to be made. Like for instance, uh, one of them is uh, Cyber, man. I've been waiting for Marvel Legends to do a Cyber for a while. And then we, we finally got that Sauron build a figure. One thing about this uh, card set that I liked was how the power levels are. If you notice there, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but the power levels are really cool because it tells you like what their stats are as far as power levels. So just wanted to show you that. I'll go flip over. And so there's a bunch of these. I just wanted to show you guys more or less the strong guy. And of course, Bishop, there you see Galactus, the Watcher, the Living Tribunal. Waiting for them to drop a figure on the Living Tribunal, that would be really cool. Even a build a figure if, if possible. So that would be neat. And then, Ego, I mean, as a build a figure would be amazing. Ego, the planet, that would be exceptional as a build a figure as well. Go ahead and go through these. And there you see like the different groups. And this is cool because if you ever want to arrange or set up uh, some of your groups, it just gives you a lot of ideas. Just wanted to show you what that looks like. Here you have the Fantastic Four X-Men, the Serpent Society, that's a good one. So yeah, so like I said, guys, been collecting for a long time. I'm gonna go ahead and move on real quick to the next card set, which is actually uh, an old card set as well. If I'm mistaken, I think this one is the 1991 Impel Marvel Universe, and this is series two. So I know because uh, this card set, uh, I had for a long time. Um, this is one of my older car sets as well. And this is the uh, Marvel 1991 Impel Marvel Universe Series 2 card set. Uh, I think there's 160 or 163 two cards, something like that. So just want to show you that real quick. And here you have Iceman. You have Shadowcat. Mr. Fantastic. It's just 
really cool. I like how they started this one off with Spider-Man and Daredevil and the thing. I want to show you a little bit more detail. Really like that Punisher. That's a cool look. Um, nice picture there of the Punisher and Gambit. Psylocke looks cool. Like how they did this puck, not bad. Looks a little bit bigger than normal, but pretty cool puck. Go ahead and flip through these pages. There you have Iron Fist, Adam Warlock. There you have US Agent. Really want them to drop a speedball for my new Warriors purposes, so that way I can finish that set of new Warriors. Uh, there you have Banshee. So there's a lot of characters that I'm still waiting for Marvel Legends to make. Uh, of course, you know, they always go with a lot of the popular ones and they give them different, different uh, appearances as far as their, their scale and so forth. I like this Hulk a lot. That Hulk is savage right there. That looks awesome. Of course, you have Wolverine there, Cyclops. Thor looks pretty cool there. And then Storm, Archangel. Also, Quasar has not been dropped. Very forgotten. This is Quasar, by the way. And that figure needs to be dropped as well by Marvel Legends Hasbro. Just showing you guys that there's a lot of characters that are really cool and they still haven't been dropped. So this is one of the reasons why I always go back to some of these card sets just to get ideas. Sometimes even to do customs, I go back and, and take a look at these card sets as well. There you see Dr. Doom, Red Skull, Lizard, really cool. And then here you have some epic battles, of course. Let me go ahead and flip that around for you guys. There you see some of those epic battles. Let's go back this way. Oh man, more epic battles. Let's move this way. Just wanna show you a good shot of those epic battles. And then just a lot more of the different battles. Of course, you have Red Skull, Captain America, Punisher, and Daredevil. That's a real cool Thanos look right there with the Infinity Gauntlet. And these cards right here actually show their weapons. I believe in the back of them and it tells you what what makes these guys like super tough. You know, Thanos is the Infinity Gauntlet and then a couple other things there. The Punisher, obviously for Punisher, they're gonna show weapons. And then for Thor, they'll have Mjolnir. So that's really cool. Just a couple more stats there. And uh, Wolverine, of course, they're gonna show the adamantium claws. And here are some more groups like the X-Force, new Fantastic Four, there you see Fantastic Four. Go ahead and flip that. And this is the end of this card set. Just wanted to show you this card set. Because just like the first series, this is also a personal favorite of mine. And this is the 1991 Impel Marvel Universe Series 2 card set. Alright guys, so the next card set is my 1993 Marvel Universe Series 4. And this is uh, Skybox. This card set, don't even remember how many cards are in this, but I know it's a lot. Uh, probably like 200 or or more um, and it's so cool because all these cars when they come together they just make one big picture 
So I'm going to go ahead and flip through these real quick just to give you a glimpse. And here, this is probably one of my favorites because you can see in the background they form Galactus. I like this because these are all the new warriors. So if you ever read up on those comics, uh, this is definitely one of those sets that I wish were completed as far as figure wise by Marvel Legends Hasbro. And here we have some more characters, mainly X-Men characters we're looking at here. Just really neat characters. And some of you are probably wondering, well, who are some of these people? But like I said, they never dropped a lot of characters. That's why when you look at some of these cards, you're like, man, whatever happened to that character and so forth. Like this Spider-Man one a lot too. It's a nice picture there. Coming together. So just a couple more guys and I want to go ahead and show you the next set, flip through some of these. That's a cool one too, Captain America there in the middle. Really like the X-Men one. That is a good, cool picture there of Magneto in the center. And then, of course, you have Cyclops, Wolverine, Bishop. You have Rogue Gambit next to Magneto. And up top, you have Archangel, Storm, and Beast. That is really, really cool. And just a couple more pictures there. Just like the way these cards come together. And this is one of those sets that are really nice to have because of the way that big picture comes in. There you see Wolverine against Cyber. Like I said, waiting for Marvel Legends to drop that Cyber. That would be cool. And these are like epic battles. And of course, here is where it ends. That is the checklist. Just wanted to show you guys that. Um, let's go ahead and get into the next card yeah, so set. The next card set that I want to get into is the Marvel Masterpiece 2008. And this is about 90 cards. And there you see it starts off with Iron Man in flight. And of course, you have Beast there, Bullseye. Like that Captain America. So I'm going to go ahead and flip through some of these pages. So you can get a good look at this Marvel Masterpiece 2008 card set. Like that Galactus there with the Silver Surfer. That's a nice card there. That's a really cool Mo Man there. Just wanted to show you what this set looks like. So I skipped the page there. Uh, Spider Man looking really neat. Wolverine and so forth. Now this card set, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Marvel's Greatest Heroes. I think this is the, the Rittenhouse Archives. And I think there's about 80 or 81 cards in this set. Go ahead and show you guys that real quick. And of course that's Captain Marvel there. And he's used uh, in a comic book cover. I've seen that as well for the first issue. 
in some of these pictures like i said they are really nice as far as like portrait wise um they just depict that character in a more realistic manner and it's really some nice artwork i'll flip through those There's a Red Hulk here in this card set. And there you go. Also a comic book cover, that Red Hulk. Nice artwork there. And um, just a lot of cool characters. Like I said, I'm dying for them to drop a lot of these characters that sometimes we miss because we're so busy, you know, getting wrapped up with all the characters and the same scales but just different paint jobs and so forth um so hasbro has to start dropping you know like cyber and and speedball and all these characters that uh, are still missing as far as the marvel universe and quasar as well this card set uh is also another card set this is the 1994 marvel flare I believe this is Marvel Masterpieces. And this is also about 140 cards in this set. Just wanted to show you that. And there you see Apocalypse. Archangel, Beast, Bishop, and Black Bolt. And uh, go ahead and move to the next page. There you get another glimpse of these card sets like that Cyclops nice card and um, there you have that Captain Universe and some of you guys might be wondering man there's a lot of these characters that Marvel Universe hasn't brought out uh, nevertheless Hasbro still hasn't brought out a lot of these um, characters all right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this ultimate card set collection that I have here. Um, there are a lot of other cards that I also collected, but this is pretty much the bulk of my Marvel uh, cards that I have collected. And uh, definitely hit me up on the comment section. Let me know if there's any card set here that you want to know a little bit more about in detail. And uh, yeah, guys, please subscribe. Hit that bell for the next notification and definitely hit us with a like. I'm G Infinite. Peace out, YouTube.